Hello Aquarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with guidance on your soul connection. General as always, guys, it's not going to res resonate with every single person. So please do take from this what makes sense for you and release the rest. If you're interested in your own reading, that information is down below in the description box. I'll include a link to the decks that you see here today and cross watchers are always welcome. So Aquarius, let's begin. These are the three decks that we'll be using this time. The Cosmic Divination Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. I've combined Volume 1 and 2 of the Journey of Love decks by Bridget of Divine Essentials. And this is my own deck, the Enlightened Mystery Oracle Volume 2. So let's grab some cards to get things started for your reading. I don't have any questions in mind this time. I'm just going to allow the cards to communicate what needs to come through. All right, Angels and Spirit Guides for Aquarius. What is your first focus card here? I'm guided to this one. Don't force the situation. Okay, so that's very specific advice for this reading. You can't force somebody to do something that they don't want to do. And they can't force you either. Okay, because everybody's got their own free will. So that's a message. Let's go ahead and grab another from the Journey of Love decks here. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Aquarius. I'm guided to this one. Pleasure. You excite me in ways I never knew existed. The number four could also be a significant number for some of you. Either you guys have been together four months, four years. Somebody's birthday could be on the fourth. Could also mean April. Okay, so however way that's represented. So if we're looking at April, we're focused on Aries as well as Taurus for some of you. Let's grab a third card for this soul connection. This might give us an indication of who your person is. I'm guided to this card. Your ideal, or sorry, you will meet, I can't read today. You will meet your ideal partner at your job. Either this has already been a part of the equation for you, that's how you met your person, or there's a possibility that you might meet someone for those who are unattached and single. Make a love connection at your job. All right, so let's go ahead and add to this with some insight from my silhouettes deck here for Aquarius. So don't force the situation, even though you might be really attracted to this person. They excite you. You guys could have certainly had those intimate moments together. But what is it about this connection? What is there not to force when it comes to this situation? What's up with that? Ooh, somebody's got shadows here. Okay, so the only way to make friends with your inner demons is to face it, heal from it, and move on. So what I'm getting here, Aquarius, is you might be focused on an individual who's got some issues that they need to handle, whatever these inner demons are, and maybe you've even mentioned it to them. You know, it's like this would help you to do A, B, and C in order for you to help this situation whatever it is that they're dealing with but if they don't want to then you can't force them to do it so it might have something to do with that you can't force somebody to heal you can't force somebody to create change in their life so this person might actually benefit from doing some shadow work that's what's going to help them heal but if they don't want to do it you can't there's nothing you can do really to help them fix that. They're going to have to do that for themselves. What else, please, for Aquarius? Infinity. Us. Forever. Okay? So maybe there's a part of you that would like to be with this person for life. You know, long-term commitment. But you can't force them to see things the way you do is what I am getting from that. You both have to be on the same page. 
What else, please, for Aquarius? Yeah, drool. Okay, we already have pleasure. You excite me in ways I never knew existed. You definitely desire this person. I can barely contain my desire for you when you're within reach. You're my ultimate craving. I can't imagine letting another second go by without tasting you. So you want this person big time. But they clearly have some shadows that they're dealing with here. Tranquility. In a world of uncertainty and chaos, you are my peace. Here's the thing with that, though, Aquarius. This could be how you see them. But they need to be able to find the peace within themselves. And if they're in this energy of dealing with inner demons that they are either ignoring or that they're failing to recognize within themselves, they might be feeling this very chaotic energy within themselves. They need to be able to find tranquility in their own life. And then we've got sight. Sometimes we don't see what we need to see until after it's gone. And maybe they don't see because they haven't had the clarity and the foresight and insight to be able to do the work on themselves. And look at this next card. Look at this. Blind. You can't unlock the possibilities unless you see the possibilities exactly. You see how these two are going together? They can't see what perhaps might be right in front of them. And what's right in front of them is you. And they fail to see or recognize the value of the connection because there's a part of them that's got some issues that they got to deal with here. This person, they have to work on healing a part of them that might have experienced something traumatic in their life or they're going through something difficult. There could also be something about your eyes that they're really attracted to. So yeah, even though you see the possibilities of this connection, they might not. And they need to get to a point where they can finally see you for what it is that you are wanting in this connection. You both have to have the same vision, no pun intended, have the same vision for what it is that you guys want to be able to manifest in this connection. Let's add to this. So I'm going to pull from the Faded Love Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot once again. So let's see what else. Some interesting messages here, Aquarius. So you're attracted to them. Certainly sexually. This is somebody that perhaps you see as a potential love partner. Somebody that you might even be interested in, you know, getting married someday, having a family, living together, that type of commitment. But they're in the shadows. They don't see. They don't see what you see. I choose you, okay? No doubt you choose this person. But they have to choose you too. You know, they have to be able to choose you as well. It goes both ways. You know. We have lovers and friends here. You guys could have certainly started off as friends, turned into lovers. Pleasure, drool. I mean, the desire is certainly here. But maybe things aren't moving as fast as you'd like or it's just not moving in a particular direction that you want because they're just blind to it. They, they really don't see what's right in front of them. Look at this, guys. Not the one. Even though you desire them and want them like crazy, maybe there's someone out there who's better suited for you. And then we've got divine timing here. 
So this is an indication here that in time, either they're going to wake up and have that light bulb moment to see what it is that they're letting go or that they're failing to welcome into their life, which could be the love that you have, the desire that you have for them, wanting infinity and forever with this person. And I'm getting, Aquarius, that there's a particular window of opportunity for this person to have that wake up call, you know, to finally open up their eyes to see what's right in front of them, which is you and the love that you're wanting to offer them. So more time is needed. More time is needed. And maybe in time, you yourself will be able to see that they're not the one for you. That's a specific message for some because it is here. So it's a part of the interpretation for some of you. And as it says, you can't force the situation. If it's just not meant to be, it's not meant to be. Even if you choose them, even if you're drooling over this person, if they don't see it, if they don't feel the same way, for example, then you can't force it. You know, there's nothing you can do to force it. But it's also letting us know here that in time, you're going to perhaps find a love partner who sees you in the same way that you see them where you guys are evenly matched up. Okay, so let's add to this. Let's see what else when we tap into some tarot messages. I'm going to pull from my tarot teacher deck here. Angels and spirit guides, please. For Aquarius guidance on this soul connection. So either they wake up and see, or they're going to lose out. And then you're going to have to wake up and see that they're not the one for you. So there's a couple ways that this could play out. What else, please? Angels and spirit guides. We do have the temperance card. Okay, so some of you guys might be dealing with a Sagittarius here. There's a reason why divine timing is at play because the temperance card is about patience. To restore harmony. This person has to be able to meet you halfway. For those who are in separation, however, this can indicate a possible reconciliation. And maybe that reconciliation happens because they finally are able to have clarity when it comes to the connection. Some of you could also be dealing with a Capricorn. So we've got two major arcanas coming up. The Devil card. I feel for some of you, and take this only if it makes sense, that you want this person so much. You know, it almost feels like you're addicted to this person. You're obsessed with them. There's a lot of temptations here with the energy of the, the devil. This person could represent a temptation for you. It pleasures you. It excites you. But it's interesting because the devil's energy can represent the shadow self. And I feel that's also where your person is. They're very much in their shadows. And they're trapped in their shadows. They need to be able to see it for themselves. And part of the reason, perhaps, Aquarius, why it's letting you know that this is not the one, is because with this devil energy, there's just unhealthy parts of this connection that aren't good. So here you are with the Ace of Cups needing to fill your own cup of love in the meantime to start over, 
to have a new beginning in your life. Welcome in new relationships that are actually better for you. So no matter what, I feel that your love life will get better. It'll improve, but you have to let go of unhealthy attachments to people that they themselves have unhealthy attachments to things or other people. So until they do that shadow work, that's perhaps a person that you would best be better off without. Because if you don't detach, and swords represents your own air energy here, Aquarius, you might end up getting hurt, and then they're going to end up breaking your heart. Especially if they tend to get themselves in toxic situations, this person who's got all of these shadows. Because the Three of Swords can sometimes indicate a love triangle. So, you know, you're into this person, but they might not be looking for a commitment. And then they're going to end up hurting you if it does turn into a third party situation. So with that Ace of Wands, it's two Aces coming up, offering you new beginnings in your life, being able to find a connection that is really way better suited for you. Some of you guys might also be reuniting with someone from your past. Okay. We already have a possible reconciliation with that temperance card. Just be mindful of who it is that you are allowing back into your life. Especially if they're in this devil energy. Start fresh, new beginnings. Time to move forward. You know, so again, don't try to fit a circle into a square. Don't force the situation. Don't force a love connection. If you know in your heart of hearts that it's just not going to work out because they're not on the same page as you. That's just what I'm getting for some of you guys. But we do have references to reunions and reconciliations. So if they do wake up and finally see that you're the one for them, because everybody's got their own free will, they could change their mind or be able to make better decisions to come towards you because they've worked on themselves. So no, you can't force them to be a part of your life. You can't force them to be a life partner. They're going to want to be that person for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some dialogue cards here. I'm going to start with the Divine Masculine. I'm going to pull from my Thinking Man Oracle deck. This is the Volume 1 deck. So Angels and Spirit Guides, please. Focusing on the Divine Masculine for this Aquarius reading. So what does the Masculine need to say to the Feminine? You're my other half. Without you, I'm incomplete. Interesting. So if they feel incomplete without you, then they're going to have to create healing in their own life in order to come towards you correct. They have to feel complete within themselves in order to come towards you as a whole individual not someone who's broken and needing to do that shadow work, you know? Because, I mean, I don't think they're going to be able to get away from that as long as they're in that devil energy. The truth is, I'm scared of commitment. But if there's ever been anyone to change my mind, it's you. Okay? So we might have a masculine here that could be a part of their shadows because of something that they've experienced in the past, why they're afraid to commit. Let's grab one more card. One more card for the masculine here. I 
I don't need a picture to remember your beautiful face. It's locked in my memory forever. So, I mean, they, they're definitely attracted to you, Divine Feminine. But they're also afraid of commitment. They're a little bit scattered in their energy. They feel incomplete without you, but at the same time, they're afraid of commitment. And bottom of the deck, look at this. I know I fucked up. Please give me another chance. Give us another chance, please. Maybe that's why we've got references to reconciliations and reunions here for some of you. So if you do get an offer to reconcile, maybe they have finally had that wake-up call where they can finally see what you mean to them, what you represent in their life. So they have to put in the work on themselves first. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some messages for the feminine. So I'm going to pull from my Real Talk With Her Words of Wisdom deck. For Aquarius, guidance on your soul connection, messages from the feminine. All right, what else? needs to come through divine feminine what do you want to say to your masculine they know they messed up they want another chance but you're also for some of you dealing with somebody who was really bad at commitment before you won't recognize true love unless you experience a love that is untrue okay so maybe you recognize that with your masculine that they haven't experienced the kind of true love, perhaps, that you're able to offer them. Or they've just had not the best experiences in love and romance. So they're not going to know that true love unless they've experienced heartbreak, unless they've experienced relationships that ended up not working itself out, thinking it was true love but ended up not being the case. This definitely needed to come through, this next message for some of my feminines here. If you don't know when to walk away, he might beat you to it. Okay? I do feel that for some of you, that you would be better off walking away from this person because they've got a lot of issues. So you don't want to sell yourself short by sticking around and forcing things with this person if they're just not able to be there for you the way you need them to be. So you got to recognize true love for yourself. Okay? So that's where I'm going to leave this one. Aquarius, whatever part of it makes sense for you, I do hope it helps you out. And if you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much. See you next time.